Hi guys, James at Rampant Line Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head to Thailand, so this is going to be my first ever Thai craft beer review for you on the channel. We're going into the little island of Phuket today, which is a really popular holiday destination, and we're doing a beer review from Full Moon Brew Works. So we're going to have a look at their Chalawan Paleo today, which comes in at 4.7%. As the name suggests, this is an American style paleo, so it should be quite an interesting one. This beer was very kindly sent to me of course by one of my longer term subscribers Davor Shiritz who is based in Slovenia. His friend brought this beer back to him in a six pack from uh, from his holiday over to Thailand and then Davor of course sent a bottle of this over to me in Scotland in Davor Box 2. So a big thank you to his friend for taking it to Slovenia and a big thank you to Davor for sending me over one of these and of course you've seen a couple of the Slovenian beers that he sent me in the previous reviews as well. So a big thank you to him once again for making this review possible and as I always say it is really cool to try different beers from different parts of the world and that's what really makes this whole craft beer thing worthwhile there's so many different things going on in different corners of the globe and that's what it's all about sharing a beer with different people from different parts of the world so i hope you guys enjoy my particular take on this beer so anyway as always i'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you want to get straight to the tasting of course just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website the link to my future reviews that i'll do from full moon brew works this is the very first time i'm trying one of their beers of course there's all the usual social media. If you want to see more beer reviews, do please consider subscribing to the channel. The whole channel, of course, has a geography-based tagging system, so you can go into the homepage and search for beer based on country, city or state, whatever it is you're interested in. Do check out the playlist of beers from different countries. I will make one for the Thai beers that I've reviewed for you, although so far it's only been Chang and now this one, but hopefully I can review some more in the near future. And as always, please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. It's always great to hear from you guys guys and the support that you give the channel is hugely appreciated and if you are watching from Thailand please do get in touch and let me know some of the other little craft breweries that I should be having a look at. So anyway, tell you a little bit about Full Moon Brew Works then. So Full Moon Brew Works are based in Patong on Phuket in Thailand. And this company was founded by Sukij Tipatima, who actually worked as a bartender while he studied over in America. I believe it was North Carolina he was studying, but then he also worked as a management trainee for Heineken when he went back to Thailand. So he was working in his corporate jobs and he kept thinking that he wanted to brew beers using some of the kind of unique food ingredients and stuff like this that was available in Thailand. So he actually went to the VLB Institute in Berlin, which is quite a prominent brewing school actually they do some really interesting research there and he trained as a brewer so when he returned to Thailand he felt that a kind of holiday destination would be the best place for him to open up his brewery because people from different countries were coming in craft beer of course is still a very very small thing in Thailand as far as I gather but like in most places it is growing but he felt that Phuket would actually be the best place to receive the craft beers because there was lots of foreigners coming in and having a look at it so he opened up his bar in the Yun Silon shopping mall in 2010 which uh, and it's grown it's gone from strength to strength if you look at the website they've got a really nice bar there and he is doing what he set out to do they've got some beers there that have some really interesting ingredients in them so just to list a few of those for you there's the Phuket Lager which is made with the Thai Gaba rice from the King's Royal Project which is meant to be really nice of course they've got their dark ale which blends black sticky rice with chocolate and caramel malt and they also have the oriental wheat which uses Thai tangerine peel so he, did, he is doing what he set out to do like like I said and they've got some very very interesting beers by the sound of it so hopefully one time I can make it to Thailand and try a few more of their beers and try some of the other Thai craft breweries of course but yeah really cool to come across this beer and once again thank you to Davor and his friend for making this review possible so yeah that's all you need to know about the brewery just now like I said I'll put the Facebook page and their website and everything like that in the description below so if you want to learn a little bit more about Full Moon Brew Works from, uh, from Patong on Phuket in Thailand then check out all the links in the description below but let's get on to actually tasting this beer itself then so yeah um, I'll just let you have a little look at the artwork before we open this one up like I mentioned to you it's a 4.7% American Paleo. This one is hopped with Cascade and Columbus from America incidentally and you can see I'll just take this and it's going to stick but you can see it's got this nice little paper thing over it that does have some of the Thai writing on there and it's you can see that on the back of course Thai writing is quite distinct just from its kind of style and stuff like that but yeah 4.7% uh, 4.7% alcohol American Paleo, this one 330 millilitres of course um, but yeah without further ado then I guess we should get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting you can see there, there's the Full Moon Brew Works uh, symbol in this one and that is of course on the back of the bottle as well but nicely presented beer so we'll get out and see how we get on then, looking forward to this 
yeah, nice smoky opening as we get it out and we'll put it in the glass. Oh, you can smell some nice kind of sweet malty notes off this actually. I wonder, I'm really curious to see how this one's going to turn out. But you can see it's a really nice rich sort of golden colour actually. So yeah, as you can see, I'll just bring the beer a little bit closer up so you can see it. It's got a really nice kind of dark, almost blood orange character to it, this one. There's a solid finger of a frothy head on this one. It's got a kind of slightly beigey, creamy coloured tint to it. And you can see there's some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head there. But overall, it looks really quite nice. This is a really interesting looking beer, this one. And you can see if I put my fingers behind the glass, it is actually quite opaque this one there's not a lot of transparency to it at all it's a nice kind of hazy looking IPA or APA sorry American Paleo so yeah it looks very nice it looks kind of exactly as you'd expect from the style maybe a little bit darker right enough usually the APAs are a little bit lighter but we'll take a closer look at the aroma then and see how we get on oh yeah that's quite a nice smelling beer that actually to me it leans towards the malty side of things there's a little bit of a kind of biscuity note in there. There's definitely some biscuity and bready character, which is kind of what you'd expect. You would expect a little bit of that in this beer. Yeah, and you can get some of these nice kind of floral, sort of floral aromatic notes that you'd expect both from the Columbus and the Cascade. It's got a little bit of that sort of grapefruity note as well. Again, that's something you'd expect from these West Coast American hops. or uh, yeah, I don't know if they're both Yakima Valley hops, but it is something that you would expect from these hop producing regions over in America. But yeah, you can pick out the distinct notes of that. So there's a little bit of lighter kind of grassy floral note. It's got a nice kind of fruity, juicy, slightly grapefruity thing. There's maybe a little bit of a kind of lemon grassy citrus note coming out of this beer as well. Good bit of floral aromaticity, like I was saying, but there is a good bit of malty kind of bready character in there. Davor did say this beer wasn't as as fresh as it maybe as it probably is when it's uh, when it's just bought, of course. So it will be it may well have a little bit of uh, the hops dropping a wee bit, but to me it does smell quite nice. It's got a nice bit of fruity and floral character. There's a wee touch of a uh, kind of earthiness to it, which may be that it's kind of starting to to skunk a little bit. But we'll see how we get on with the tasting of this one. But it smells really nice, as I always say, just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of the beer before you actually give it a taste. So this one is the Chalawan Paleo from Full Moon Brew Work over in Patong on Phuket in Thailand. Once again, thank you to Davor for this beer and to his friend as well for bringing it back from Thailand. Slanje, skur. That's actually stood up pretty well. I don't know how old it is. Davor didn't say exactly how old this one was. But in fairness, I think it stood up pretty well. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I mean, the one thing that's interesting about this, if you think about the likes of Singha and Chang, of course, these beers are the, the, the kind of macro laggers that you'll get from Thailand, and they do have a little bit of that ricey character to them. I can see with this one, they are leaning a little bit more towards the kind of malty, sort of sweet side of things with this beer, and of course, I guess that's just to kind of suit the Thai taste, and that was one thing that Sukij actually was... Uh, was talking about on the website, if you read about what he says, he wants to try and introduce more and more Thai people to craft beer. So he is kind of, I can see what he's doing, they must be used to the fact that beer's a little bit malty and a little bit sweet, and this one is kind of leaning towards that, definitely. But it's a nice beer. I mean, the thing you're going to notice about this one, it's not going to blow your head in terms of hops, or in terms of malt, it's actually just a nice kind of straight up easy drinking paleo. It, it's, I mean, for an introduction for Thai people to craft beer, I can see why this one would gain a little bit of popularity. It's certainly a good kind of gateway into craft beer, this one. That's the sort of beer it strikes me as. It's not one that's going to blow your head in any regard. It's, it's one that's intended to be an introduction to the whole kind of phase of more hops and more malts and things like this but it's nicely done and it's a nice easy drinking beer it's a little bit thicker in the mouthfeel than I would have expected actually when you think about Thailand obviously 
you think that it's a very, very hot, quite tropical country. And this one's got quite a big oily mouthfeel, and I would have thought they would want something a little bit more kind of crisp. But the fact is, it's a good beer. It tastes nice, and that's the main thing that you want out of a craft beer. But yeah, as I always say, just sugar the beer around your palate and let your whole mouth adjust to it before you start analysing the flavour too much. But yeah, in the middle of the palate you've got this nice kind of bready, malty base to it. There is a little bit of a kind of cereally, grainy sort of thing going on in this one, which is quite interesting. There's a wee bit of kind of biscuity sweetness there as well, and you can feel that slightly thicker bready character just underpinning the whole of the beer. But overall, you know, it's really quite nice. In terms of a paleo, though, the, the malt base is a little bit thicker than I would expect, but, you know, it's it must just be what the Thai people are used to, and it's, it's quite nice, to be honest. So, uh, on the hoppy side of things, in the back corners of the palate, there's a little bit of earthiness there. As you come further forward, you can feel that kind of floral aromaticity coming out of the beer. It's a little bit spicy, actually, which you can sometimes get from those hops. It's a little bit light and grassy around the front curve of the tongue. And then, of course, behind the front curve of the palate is where you're going to get that little oily bubble where these nice kind of juicy, fruity esters come out. And you can feel a little bit of that slightly darker grapefruit flavour that you'll expect, both of the Cascade and the Columbus. You can feel that just underpinning this beer and as you go further and further into the aftertaste I'm finding that the uh, the sort of grainy characters from the malt are pushing their way out a little bit more you've got that little bit of grainy dryness just pushing its way out a little bit some of the floral aromaticity is lingering a wee bit and you almost get this kind of lemongrassy citric note towards the front of your tongue as well so I mean it's quite a nice just straight up American paleo it's not as I say it's not going to blow your head off in terms of the, the, the malts or the hops or anything like that it's just nicely done it's intended as a just kind of easy drinking beer in the heat of course but of course it is intended to have a little bit more flavour to it than the likes of Chang and, uh, and Singha and all of this so it's a nice effort and it's cool to see that, that Thailand is starting to experiment with these beer styles as well. But that's a pretty nice beer, and it is cool, of course, to try my first craft beer from Thailand, like I was saying. So if you get the chance to try this, have a go at it. In terms of the paleo style, it's a little bit breadier in things, and it's a little bit more malty than you would normally expect. But in the, but it's a good beer, and that's what you want. And it's like I say, it is cool to see another country kind of dabbling it, dabbing its hand in uh, in craft beer. So a thumbs up to uh, Full Moon Brew Works for this one. I would love to try some of their other beers that have the likes of the the tangerine peel and uh, the rice and things in them. Those would be really interesting to try. So hopefully I can get to Phuket at some point and review a couple of those for you. But this one itself is a pretty nice beer so if you get the chance to try this I do recommend that you do this is probably one of the first craft beers that was made in Thailand of course in terms of the mouthfeel of this one I would say it's mid-bodied it is a little bit thicker than you would expect for an American paleo it's got a nice kind of oily mouthfeel to it the carbonation does have a little bit of crispness to it but to me it's mainly a little bit more oily rather than anything else the carbonation uh, the car I say the carbonation is quite soft on this one. It's quite smooth. There's a little bit of malty sweetness. There's a bit of grainy, kind of a, dry, a bit of dry graininess coming out of the beer, and that comes out a little bit more in the aftertaste. Like I said, the hoppy bitterness isn't so overwhelming on this one. It's not really a hoppy beer, but you get a little bit of that uh, floral aromaticity and slightly spicy character coming out of it a little bit later on. And there's a little bit of that kind of juicy fruity note in there as well. There's a little bit of the grapefruit lingers into the aftertaste too. But overall, it's a pretty straight up American paleo, but it's certainly a nice kind of easy drinking one. I'm just surprised at some of the aspects of this beer because, like I say, you expect Thailand uh, as being a very, very to be a very, very hot country, of course. And this one does have a little bit of a kind of slightly thicker, oily mouthfeel to it. And you would expect their beers to be a little bit crisper. And I have found that with the likes of some of the Southern European beers some of the Japanese ones and stuff like this. They do like a little bit of crisp carbonation, but this one leans more towards the oily side of things. But overall, they've done quite a nice job with this one. I wouldn't hesitate to drink, pardon me, to drink this beer again if it was available in Thailand when I was there. They've done a nice job with it, and on the basis of this one, I'd be really interested to try some of their beers that have the, the kind of speciality Thai ingredients in it. So like I say, hopefully I can do that in the fairly near future. But yeah, this one was the Chalawan Paleo from Full Moon Brew Works over on Patong on Phuket in Thailand. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my take on this one. A really interesting and quite unusual beer to come across, of course. So once again, thank you to Davor for this beer. If you have tried it yourself, please let me know your own thoughts on it in the comment section below. Please let me know what your favourite beers are from this brewery. 
uh, especially about some of the kind of unusual ones that they have and do let me know some of the other Thai craft breweries as well but thank you once again for watching my beer reviews until the next time please like subscribe share all the usual YouTube stuff do check out my social media as well and let me know some other Thai craft beers that I should keep an eye on so this one was the Channel One Paleo from Full Moon Brewworks on Phuket in Thailand Slanted just now and I will catch you guys very soon cheers